Hi, this is Chase Allard with LearnYourNewMac.com, and this video will be an overview of the Finder application. In a later video, we will look at how to organize your files and folders. We're going to start with Finder, which is the smiley face icon at the lower left corner of your dock. If you're coming from a PC background, think of the Finder a lot like you would your Start menu. Finder is the file cabinet for your whole computer. It's the primary spot to access all of your files at once. We're going to start by navigating here on the left, which is called the sidebar. We're going to start with all my files. This is a portion where your documents are organized by the types of files that they come in. So here's PDF documents, movies, photos, spreadsheets. And they usually start with your latest ones up front, going backwards to your older files. I find this one a little confusing, a little bit hard to read, so I don't tend to use all my files. You'll only see all my files if you're on the newest Lion operating system. When we move down to AirDrop, AirDrop is the ability to share files with other Mac computers on your network. So if I had a friend, a colleague, a different computer in the house, I would see a little symbol for that person's computer on this screen. And I could drag a file and drop it to that person. Next we move to Applications, and this is the long and complete list of all of your programs. You'll see every single application here, whereas you might only see some of them down here on the dock. You'll for sure see all of your programs in the Applications folder. When we go to the Desktop, you'll see these same two files that I see over here. So this is just a repeat of the same information, but the Desktop is one way to get to those files from Finder rather than accessing those here. The Documents folder is your primary place to store your files. This is going to be more long-term storage than the desktop. The desktop you should reserve for your quick access files. The Documents is going to be where you want to do your long-term storage. Next is the Downloads, and the Downloads is the area where you get all of your files that you received or downloaded from Safari, the internet, or from your mail program. If you saved, let's say, an image file or a document, chances are it's going to save here to the downloads. It's kind of your catch-all spot for anything coming from the internet or from mail. The next three you have movies, music, and pictures. I don't tend to use these very much because the computer does a lot of the organization in here for me. But these are three different folders where I could put movie files, music files, and picture files. If I had iTunes music I would see an iTunes folder here and inside pictures I would see an iPhoto icon there. And those are just the storage locations that the computer is going to organize for me. I don't have to really worry about those too much. Next we have devices, and this is where you can have different types of media that's plugged into your computer. So for example, this is my uh, flash drive that's plugged into the USB port in the back of the computer. It's just called Untitled, but this is the flash drive. My book is an external hard drive, which is currently backing up my system. And so this is the external hard drive plugged into the computer as well. If I insert a CD into my CD drive, then I will see that pop up here. If I put in an SD card from a digital camera, for example, I might see that pop up here also. So these are going to be where you can find the things that are plugged into your computer. Now that we know about the sidebar, we're going to go ahead and move up to the top toolbar. At first, we're going to have just the left and right triangles, and this is simply to show you where you were before, so backing up if I go to the left, and if I click the right arrow, I'm going forward. So just moving backwards and, for and forwards through the folders I've been following. These next four are very important. The next four are different icons that show you your files in different ways. It'll show you the same information, but just showing you that information in different ways. I'm going to click on the Documents folder, and then this four square button is what they call the icon view. This helps me see a quick view of all of my different files with a little thumbnail image. I have to double click on a file to open it or double click on a folder to get inside that folder. The next view is what you call the list view. This is usually an alphabetical listing from A to Z of all of your files. The nice thing about this view is that you get more information about your file. You can see what kind of file it is, how big that file is, when you last modified that file. The third view is what we call the column view. This is my personal favorite. In this view, you still get an alphabetical listing, but then, for example, when I click on student loan in the folder, 
then I'm going to see the files that are in that folder in the next level down. So it'll be a folder. If I had a subfolder, I would click on that subfolder here and see the files going down. So you're kind of drilling down your folders through this list. So I find that a very nice way to organize and kind of uh, re reorganize my files. This fourth button is what we call cover flow. And the cover flow is the same thing that you might have seen in iTunes if you're familiar with that. But it's an icon view at the top as well as the list view at the bottom. Again, that list view gives me all the kind of sub and, and extra information about the files, which is nice. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get a picture of, of the file as well as the information about that file. It can be a little tricky to navigate in here, though, because sometimes if I get inside a folder, then it's hard to see what folder I was inside of. So I'm going to double click the student loan folder. And now that I'm inside the student loan folder, then I'm looking at those files. But I'd have to back up to go back to that documents folder where I was. So that's why I predominantly stick on the third one, so that if I'm in a folder, I know what I'm looking at, and then I can see those files. Now we move over to the gear, and the gear is kind of a tasks or action menu. And so if I have something selected, let's say if I have uh, the resume selected, I can go to the gear, and I can make a new folder, I can open that with a particular program, move that file to the trash can, get some more specific information about that, I can even label it with a color. It gives me a way to arrange all of my files and folders as well, by name or by kind, by date, for example. So you're going to see this gear in different places on the operating system, but this usually means kind of an actions or settings. The final button here is to change the item arrangement. And what that means is that same thing we just saw, where we can, we can organize by name, by kind, by application. I can do that from this button here. So for example, if I go by kind, I no longer see the alphabetical listing of my files. Now I see, again, kind of like we saw in all my files, here's my images broken out, my PDF documents, my spreadsheets, my documents, all kind of separated from each other. A different way to look at the files. I prefer by name so that I can have an alphabetical listing. So the last piece is the search tool that you have at the upper right corner. Anytime you see a little magnifying glass, that means you're going to search for something on the computer. Let's say if I couldn't remember where my budget file was. I know I can see it here, but it, what I can also do is come up and type the word budget. And then the computer will go search anything having to do with the word budget. I can scroll down the list and find it here, or I can click on search documents instead, and that might help streamline, so I'm just looking at the documents folder. If you have a lot of files, it's a really nice way to just go and search for something really quick. So that's a brief overview of Finder. In the next video, we'll look at how to organize your files and folders. Thanks for watching.